he was probably just walking the same route home that I was walking. I just don't know what this person is capable of, what they'll do next. He could run and he could get me. It's total fear. I finally got to the door and I was like shaking, getting my keys in. My doing that got me away. Safe. If I'm walking home late at night, and I feel unsafe, the first thing that I do is become very aware of my body. My shoulders will become tense. I'd cross the road first a few times if I need to. Stay close to parked cars. I don't know if that helps. My shoulders will become tense. I will be saying tough things to myself to make myself appear stronger, to kind of reinforce that sense of fearlessness. I don't care who the fuck you are. I'm the wrong type to be messing with. Have me head up, chin crooked, like I can see above you, past you. I'm aware of people around me. If I feel unsafe, I will look at them with just a short glimpse of my eyes in the hope that they won't see me. I'm coming down the steps of this building after this class. I'm only 13, 14. It's just me in the building. Everyone else is gone. I want to get home. I'm needing to get home right now. I'm looking at this guy who normally like manages the building. He is blocking the path in this weird way. He's giving me this eye contact that's just like too much. It's just too intense. I feel my spit really clearly. It feels very prominent in my mouth. At this present moment, I am safe, technically. Nothing 
technically harmful is happening. He says something like, do you want to lift home? Are you sure you're on the way home? Are you sure you're on the way home? Maybe you can tell them I'm not. I can just feel my heartbeat and my blood sort of pumping and, and I, I, I just don't know how to get out of this situation. I don't, I don't know, I don't, have the way back and I don't have a clear way through. He was kind of staying a, a, a distance away from me that was a bit... He could run and he could get me. I have to run at any point now. All these thoughts were going through my head. I'm only 100 metres away from home. I'm only 50 metres away from home. I just had my phone in my hand and I was pretending to ring my friends. And I had my keys in my other hand. Can you see me? Because I can see you. Yeah, I can see you now. Yep. I can see you now. Can you just stay on the phone? Can you stay on the phone? Can you stay on the phone? drop my phone, I can't go back for it, I have to just drop it and run. So there's no real danger. I just felt like this immediate thing of just being a, 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 a girl alone. That was the scary part. me.